All right, this is episode 74. We're in the thick of it. Let's go ahead and get right back into it. Three, two, one. One thing I've noticed of the title there at the bottom, I just saw the word astonishing or something. It reminds me of um, like those old 40s and 50s movies. They'd have uh, melodramatic titles to hype you. <laughs> you dumbass. I saw that coming. Of course, we were supposed to, right? But <laughs> dumbass. Watch where you're driving. <laughs> My point is that's a cool aesthetic. Their titling scheme is cool, is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. I th I picked up on what he's following. <laughs> stop, stop it. Yep. I smell the aggression. Grid. Yeah, you can get hit by friendly fire. Let's stand here and talk about it for a long time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this conversation is taking longer than it would take to go around them. Dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> we're going this way. You do what you want. Like that's that's asinine, man. Like the conversation took longer than it would take to go around them. The woods are full of bugs, so that you're at a disadvantage. He's got home field advantage. My puppet's gonna kick your ass. He's the puppet master. I like that. It's a good power. It's not a power I would pick. Boy, that is creepy. I forgot how creepy his puppet was. Well, let's see if bugs are better than puppets. Yeah, the whole mocking thing gets on my nerves. But again, that's part of the fight, man. It's psychological warfare. Hey, he's finally awake. You're weak as hell. <laughs> In other words, no, you're not. Hell, he might turn on you. It really does. Give him this uh, pick-me-up. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Ah, Jesus. Well, thank you for carrying me this far. I mean, you know. Oh, shit. Here we go, I guess. All that work that they put into um, getting him away... And, of course, the second he opens his eyes, it's over with, man. So I guess technically we now have uh, four storylines going on. <laughs> I love the sound design of this puppet. Oh, shit, what the hell is that? Oh, shit. One prick. Maybe light on your feet. Wonder what the range of the puppet is. 
<clears throat> it feels like a puppet could never be as fast as a human being because he has to give it a command and then it responds to the command. So a human being can always react faster than a puppet, I would think. Unless you're slow. You know, because, you know, of course, a ninja is always going to be fast. So there may be a regular human being. Okay, you can get him. I don't think you can get a highly trained ninja. Yeah, he stalked about. Thought you knew. <laughs> She's putting it together. Good shit, homie. Break through the facade. <laughs> He's going crazy, man. I need a Motrin. Is he a Hulk? <laughs> Too late. He don't care about your damn mission. Hell yeah. They do have a lot of commonalities. We've talked about that. How can your sandy skin sweat this much? Feels like a contradiction. Your skin is cracking because it's sand, but it's also sweating. Oh, shit. I remember this. What's up, bro? I'm just hanging out. Yeah. Go away, kid. You bother me. <laughs> I don't think he liked that too much. You hurt his feeling. <laughs> Yep. We're the same, you and I. Eyes you'll close forever. Oh, wait. Different franchise. Yeah, <laughs> this voice of actor is incredible, man. I'm telling you. He, he brings it. Remember, there's somebody in the recording booth making these noises. <laughs> it's so good, man. Hell yeah. He's gonna hulk out. She better run. Yeah, I just... It's creepy. It's dangerous as hell. I just don't think it has the speed... <laughs> Wait, you substitute a puppet? That's pretty cool. Now, the trickery can work. The trickery, if you use the trickery, that'll work. Oh, shit. You better have a big bug to block that. Oh, well, nope. You're dead. Unless he substitutes. He substituted with bugs, didn't he? <laughs> I love that so much. You can never trust what you're seeing, man. I forgot to talk about this before. There's a disconnect there, right? Get his ass. <laughs> yes. You're damn right. Right. Exactly. So let's 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 do this. It's not a very good power. This is a power if you have a bunch of buddies on your team that can that are around you, right? And you want to send a puppet in and it doesn't matter if it gets damaged. But one on one is not a good power. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Fortunately I have bug shields. Oh shit, you're dead. Hope you don't need to breathe. Ah, 
dude. Right. This is definitely a bitch ass power. We gotta hide, sleek around, stay in the background. He likes that. Look at that. I don't even consider this one of the storylines. We can assume you... We can assume that you evacuated the kids. We don't need to blow by blow. Hey, man. Why are you going to put that in their heads? You mean you're going to die? No wonder they, most of them look so scared. I have a feeling the point behind this is they're going to be in danger at some point. And uh, Hakage is going to have to sacrifice his life to protect him or something. This is the only reason they'd be spending this much screen time in these kids. Get your asses moving. Let's go. Yeah. Fortunately, your, jiu your jitsu is not in line because I can tell you're lying. What? Oh, shit. You better get in there. <laughs> you're a master of the obvious. Can we go? <laughs> oh, because he's dying probably, right? But the others died. Their faces didn't crack. Man, imagine how... Even if you're going from manga, which I'm sure they are, how complicated it was to... to format this adapt this story into this medium, right? How much screen time do you give each thing each episode? There's so much going on. That's a lot of work. So you're going to age shame me just as I die, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Come here. Let's go. Come here. <laughs> wow. Putting the soul back? Why? Is he really going to let him live twice? Why the hell would you do that? Oh, okay. I thought he was pushing it back. It was it was just going back. Okay. Because he was weak. Gotcha. <clears throat> I literally thought that he was like pushing it back, but it was just uh, Arachimari was pulling it back probably with the force of his will, and the old man was too weak to prevent that. Gotcha. He is hawking out. <laughs> oh, shit. Sure, why not? Yeah, this is not great. Jesus Christ. You know what's even creepier is the fact he's just half and half. If he had fully transformed, that'd be one thing. But him being half and half is terrifying. I'm assuming the music for this show won awards because it's incredible. Hey, you dodged a bullet. <laughs> Maybe. He just had to know who would win. I think he's another tree trunk. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> dumbass. He was just faking the poison. I bet he never ingested it. Oh, shit. Snap those puppet strings. There's bugs inside those, uh, the puppet. 
<laughs> it's infected. Look at it. <laughs> That's right. Am I bugging you? <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> if you don't have your puppet, what do you have? You gave your puppet a name. <laughs> They're coming for you, that's why. Yep. They're eating you, admit it. <laughs> you better cut the strings. <laughs> Chump. Well, so much for this puppet. Kick him in the face. Oh, wait a minute. How can you still control it? If you don't have a string attached, you shouldn't be able to control that. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Can't believe you gave a name to this hideous creature. Shoot him. Oh, it looked like a gun there for a second. Oh, shit. Well, nothing to do but die. Somebody showed up. <laughs> he was just going to stay there? I guess he's tired. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Did he do it to himself? I thought somebody showed up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nice. Now they're coming for you. It's so itchy. Creepy crawlies all over my body. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. Bugs are everywhere. I said this. Have you ever been in the woods? Bugs are everywhere. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. He likes planting beetles, doesn't he? <laughs> this dude's a genius. So don't. Never repeat yourself. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Dumbass. That's why I was referenced. I said he loves planting beetles. <laughs> yeah, we remember it was last episode. Just because he's a moron. Yep. A homing beacon, shall we say. <laughs> That's right. Get his ass. Scratch one, dumbass. Well, worth a shot. I guess the whole point is just to take the old boy off the board. You know, because if he... You know, Tamara's already a witness to the fight. You don't need two witnesses to the fight, right? We need somebody to go back and give the town news what happened. Either way, she'll be the one. That is creepy. <laughs> Frightened her, apparently. Where's your arrogance now? Well, don't forget, predators can also become prey. So, you know. Oh, shit. That was a short one. Feels like it anyway. These shows are going fast, man. So one thing I was going to talk about, I forgot to bring this up in an intro or something, is it's a little hard sometimes to get invested in character deaths because you're always assuming that they're not dead, like on this show, because you know, then it's going to turn into just a tree trunk or a pile of bugs, right? 
So what that is going to do is when somebody dies for real in this show, the Hakage or uh, let's say uh, Sakura dies or something, we're not going to believe it for a good 30 to 60 to 90 seconds. We're going to need to return to her corpse repeatedly before I'm going to believe it. Like, I'm just using her as an example. It can be anybody. But like, say she drops dead. Somebody kills him. I'm going to believe that that was a tree trunk. And, and you know, so by the time I realize that she actually is dead for real, we're going to be three minutes and four minutes into it. And it won't have the emotional resonance as if I believed it as soon as it happens. You know, there's a character who dies in um, season two, episode 17 of Buffy. And because this isn't the kind of show that does a lot of fake outs, you believe it immediately. And it's one of the best shows I've ever seen reactors react to. It's always great. Like, there's always a great reaction to that. It's like, oh my God, what the hell? You know, that's next level shit. Because we believe it in the moment. And you would think, okay, well, like, say we don't believe it for four minutes and we would have the same reaction. We don't. Some of that uh, emotion has been siphoned off because you have a certain pile of emotion. Imagine it's a chakra. You have a certain pile of emotion that it gets expended when somebody you're invested in dies. But if you're wondering, are they dead or not? You're negotiating with yourself. Am I believing this? Am I believing they're dead or not? That emotion is getting siphoned off. So say you start with 100 emotion. And the person dies on Buffy, that 100 emotion comes out. But uh, if somebody dies on this show, it's going to get siphoned off. So it's only going to be 55 emotion by the time you actually confirm, okay, yes, 100%, this is confirmed. This person is dead. It's not going to be the same. So it's not just about reactions. It's just about the experience of uh, seeing the show. You just, it doesn't hit the same on this show because there's so many fake outs. You can never believe what you're seeing. Like they do it so often. And, you know, I'm not saying that like, you know, a show is only about the emotional payoff of somebody dying because it's not. There's so much else going on. You know, the emotional payoff of somebody almost dying and living is probably better, right? But even that's kind of probably going to be dampened. It's just the nature of the thing. It's, it's the cost to do a business, is what I'm saying. It's not a knock against the show. It's not a complaint. It's the cost to do a business. The cost to do a business on this show is we're not going to get the emotional payoffs of deaths or near deaths because we're always negotiating with ourselves. Can we believe our eyes? Because you can't believe your eyes on this show. So that's just, I think that's just what I think I put it right. It's the cost to do a business on this show. 